everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Canna Campbell. I really hope that 2023 is a great year so far for you. When I started this year, I set some really big goals for myself. I really wanted to raise my bar, live with greater intention, a greater connection to my value system, and really see how powerful and capable I am when it comes to achieving all of my financial goals and dreams. Now, 2023 has already been an incredible year for me so far. And at the very start of the year, Year, I decided to do things differently, differently to what I've done in the past, because if I want a bigger, better outcome, I need to change the formula up a bit and just tweak a few things so that I can maybe see where I'm really supposed to be. And the results have been incredible. Not only have I achieved so many of my goals, I've also achieved those goals with so much more ease, joy and efficiency. And I really feel like I'm starting to crack the surface where I'm starting to live my life as to where I'm supposed to be going. And it feels incredible. So I want to share with you these seven things that I'm doing differently for a bigger, better outcome and making 2023 my best year yet. So the first thing I've been doing so much more work on is manifestation. I've always done manifestation. I've always believed in it. It does work for me, but I'm doing it more often and I'm doing it in more of a creative way. I'm not just doing visualization work, which I love doing. I've also gone back and have done my own vision board, something I haven't done for years. Now, this combination of manifestation work has given me amazing faith in myself. It's also helped me stay really focused on my goals and really minimize any distractions or procrastination that comes my way. I really feel, genuinely feel, that everything that I'm working on, on my manifestation list, in my visualization board, with my affirmations, is coming to life already. And in fact, as I said, some of those things have already happened organically without me really trying. The second thing that I'm doing is really focusing on being and doing. When I look at all of my goals, which I read every day, I ask myself, what do I need to be? And therefore, what do I need to do to make these goals happen? And I come up with a list of things like I need to be organized. I need to have less clutter in my life. I need to have great focus. I need to be able to switch off and enjoy the moment. Now, in doing this, it made me realize that none of those things were based on having money, having a certain intellectual skill, or having time. There were simply things that I actually had within myself. I just needed to learn how to turn up the volume and get better at being those things. Then when I looked at my doing, it made me more practical and more accountable with my time. So for example, I realized I need to be more organized. So if that meant doing, doing and spending more time, just taking a couple of minutes every Sunday afternoon to plan my week ahead, to look at my schedule, to make sure I'm allowing enough time for me to work on my visualization and my manifestation work. This has also been really great because it's made me so much more accountable of my time. You see, one of my great distractions is taking phone calls during the day when I'm trying to get my work done. But because I did this work where I paid attention to what I need to be, and one of them was ex exercising self-control. When I notice that phone ring, I know just to ignore it, let it go to a voicemail, and I can return that call later on the day when it's more efficient for my use of time. The third thing that I also have been doing is looking at less and more. The concept of what I want less of in my life and making sure that I'm prioritizing more. So for example, in one of my lists I had, I wanted to speak less to my friends, but see more of my friends. You see, I'm always DMing my girlfriends, Instagram and these WhatsApp chat groups. And whilst that's amazing, it's a great way to connect with my friends. I really want to see them more, be present with them and be able to talk to them without a screen involved. So this has been really great because it's called me up to action. It's made me actually go back and look at my diary and prioritize dates and times that we can actually catch up. Even if it's just for a quick walk in the park or a coffee or maybe like a nice girl's lunch. This has been something that's really made me look at my time and make sure I'm really putting at the top of my priorities what I want less of in my life and more. And this is making me feel like I'm living a lot more in alignment to my value system and living with more authenticity. The fourth thing that I'm doing is I've scrapped the rewards. So every year I say to myself, if I achieve all these goals, I can reward myself with one luxury handbag. Now that's always been amazing and great. And whenever I have achieved those goals when I go to grab that handbag, I grab it and I enjoy it guilt-free and with pride because I know that I prioritize my financial well-being and my goals in order to be able to buy that bag. However, this year I really wanted to scrap that. I felt like I was maybe starting to become a little bit materialistic with goals and that so much of my focus and attention was driven by this like luxury handbag purchase. And that's not really what I'm really about. So I decided to say to myself, all right, if you want to buy a handbag, you can, that's fine. 
obviously you make sure you save up for it first and you make sure you buy it when the timing is right and you use your gut, use your intuition as to when and if it's appropriate or not. Now, I know that it's great to have rewards and go, don't get me wrong, I, rewards are important for goals. But this year for 2023, my reward is not going to be a luxury handbag. My reward is actually going to be the sense of pride, satisfaction, self-care, love, self-respect in working on all of my goals to the best of my ability. That is my reward. And I feel so much more fulfilled. And I don't have the stress and pressure of thinking about a materialistic purchase that I don't know if it's even right for me right now. Fifth thing that I'm doing is affirmation work. At the beginning of this video, I shared with you I'm doing lots of manifestation work. And helping complement the manifestation work are affirmations. I have my own affirmations, which I actually have live for you guys to listen to on my podcast. So I'll make sure I put this in the video box below so you can listen to it for yourself. And listening to affirmations is incredibly powerful because it really changes your thoughts and therefore your feelings about what the future holds and I found that any stress and anxiety that I have just basically like evaporates. I have a newfound sense of faith and confidence in myself and listening to these affirmations I feel even more empowered and even more of a magnet to success and prosperity in my life. It's really incredible how it's changing my mindset and giving me a greater sense of confidence and faith in really giving my goals the best ability of being achieved. The sixth thing that I'm doing, and this is a really big one, I think everyone will benefit from hearing this tip is, I have my goals, I've written them down and I'm working on them. Now, as I achieve these goals, I'm actually not adding any new ones in. I made a promise to myself that these are the most important goals to me right now that I wanted to achieve in 2023. You see, the old version of me would start adding in a new goal once one had been achieved. And whilst that's great for progress and to keep growing and achieving, this year, as I said, I want to do things differently. I want to really open myself up to a different outcome. So when I achieve a goal, I don't add a new one in. I just simply channel all of my energy and all of my focus and all of my available resources into working on the next goal on my list. No new goals are added in here. I feel like this is a, such a more respectful and efficient management of my energy sources. And then the final tip for making 2023 differently is my deadline. So many times we make our deadlines for the year, the end of the year, normally around Christmas time or like the 31st of December. But you see, the thing for me is I tend to get really worn out and run down towards the beginning of December. And that kind of makes sense because the year is so close to being ended, but it hasn't actually ended yet. And in Sydney, it's a really hot time of the year. The heat kind of makes me feel a little bit lazy. And then we also have all the Christmas festivities beginning, all the social catch-ups, and you suddenly become really time poor. And so finishing off those goals for me becomes a low priority. So instead, I've given myself a deadline of the 1st of December, 2023. And seeing that the, that date is actually much closer than what it really feels like when you say at the end of the year. Because in fact, the 1st of December is actually almost eight months away, which makes me realize I really need to stay on track and keep building momentum in achieving my other goals that remain on my list. It really does, again, really change my mindset and I want to take my goals really seriously and give them the biggest and best opportunity of happening. All of these things in combination, I really feel are driving a bigger, better outcome for me, but they're also allowing me to enjoy the process with so much more joy and ease. And I have to say, I'm really enjoying feeling a lot more relaxed, a lot more confident, and a lot more trusting in the universe that I am being supported in my journey. So I really hope that this video helps you. And by the way, just so you know, I'm also going to be launching my own manifestation program next month. So make sure you're following my channel and I will share all the details very soon. Thanks for watching everyone and make sure you are subscribed. <laughs>